So even in the description, you can see it's a high level Python web framework and uh, yeah, it's free and open source. So let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to download the Python. So we can go to python.org and downloads and you can download the latest version of Python if you want. Uh, you can also download an old version of Python, but make sure it's above uh, three. Don't download 3.3 .3 because it's not used. But anyway, make sure that it's above three and it's not 2.7 or anything. And then the IDE that I use is called PyCharm. You can use Sublime or Atom or anything that you want, but I'll highly recommend if you want to follow along, you download this PyCharm and you can just download the community version. It's free. Uh, it's cool. So anyways, uh, let's get started. So after downloading Python and PyCharm, you'll get a project kind of like this. Now I, what, what I want you to do is go to file, click on new project and go to this Django and then write down the name of the project. So we are going to be building a landing page which has the functionality of sending emails and uh, basically a simple landing page which tells you what this website is about. So I'm gonna just name this project landing page. You can name it the same if you wanna follow along. Then you can click on uh, create and what this does is just click on okay and what this does is it creates a virtual environment and after that it automatically installs Django into this project into this virtual environment so you don't need to pip install Django or anything like that and that is thing that is the thing that I like about uh, PyCharm because in default things like uh, if you are just doing it with command prompt or sublime and stuff you'll have to open up your command prompt and then write pip install Django and stuff like that so PyCharm makes everything GUI supported so that's why I like uh, PyCharm although there is another one that is just uh, recently launched it's called uh, Visual Studio Code which I've heard is also pretty good so you can also use that if you want so let's just wait for this Django to be installed 